let us see this uh, circuit which is a phase uh, shift oscillator it works in the mechanism of feedback the components are transistor and it resistors 22k 10k form the self bias and you have three rc combinations each of them will give you a phase difference of 60 degrees between the output and input and there are three such configurations three networks three into 60 180 transistor the common emitter configuration acts as a c amplifier which introduces a phase difference of 180 therefore the total phase difference is therefore 360 degrees okay so uh, to meet the Borghausen criteria for sustained oscillations is the total phase difference around the entire loop should be 360, 0 or 360 or integral multiples of that to be able to convert it into an oscillator. An oscillator basically is one which converts a DC supply into AC. We have not connected any function generator here no sinusoidal input is given only dc voltage is given and at the output you will be able to see a sine wave being formed now let us see how do you emulate this circuit using this multisim software the common emitter configuration this is the transistor these are the three capacitors same value these three resistors also of the same value this forms your self bias circuit this is your bypass resistor and a capacitor output is taken across this you connect a CRO here so now let us simulate this so second it will come which channel have you connected channel a is what you have connected adjust this are you able to see so now how do you measure the time period measure the frequency this is designed for the frequency given by the formula 1 by 2 pi rc r is 10k c is this and when you measure this uh, fix t1 here t2 where will you fix it here the difference between t2 and uh, t1 is around 4 milliseconds so the time period will be 1 by 4 into 10 to the power 3 1 by 4 is 0.25 so 250 hertz and it is designed you can calculate using the formula 1 by 2 pi rc uh, use this formula you get it as 250 hertz from here also you are getting this we can repeat this experiment using different values of the capacitance suppose i change it to 0 0.01 0 0.01 0 0.01 microfarad I should change everywhere then only it will give you correct result 1 here also 1 uh, now let us see simulate this it will come wait
it's coming now adjust the time period it will come so t1 t2 or maybe you can even fix t1 here between these two also you can measure so around nearly 2 milliseconds 2 milliseconds is 500 hertz 1 by 2 pi rc 1 by 2 pi into r is 10k c 0.01 also you will get the same result so this is how uh, you will be designing 